Hello, folks. Meridon on Epona here. I'd like to demonstrate my skill rotation um, on my mage. Not because I think it's a perfect one, necessarily, but because I needed a lot of tips early on, and I figure it's better to pass on the few tips that I have and do it poorly uh, than make people dig for the things I've had to dig for. Uh, so anyway... I will be doing this demonstration with a 25% cooldown reduction from a Frong Skull for Firebolt and a 25% cooldown reduction from a Necrol Bracelet for Firestorm. Uh, no other cooldown. I actually do have a 25% cooldown for Ice Shards, which I may demonstrate as well, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do this demo without it, mostly because the person I'm doing it for primarily uh, may not have one. So, anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is equip my skull and uh, whatever offhand I'm using. Uh, in this case, an Eltridge Grimoire. Uh, I want to do that before I throw Attunement or Energy Shield, and the reason for that is um, it, it will boost... Uh, my attunement and my energy shield, which are going to be in effect for quite some time. So I want to make sure I do that first before entering the fight. Now, attunement, energy shield, these shouldn't matter because they should be pre-fight. I click my target, and first I'm going to throw lure, then I'm going to switch pages and start my skill rotation. All right, so, pot swap for lure of fire. Throw lure of fire, now we're in a fight. Switch, all right, ring... Firebolt, ring, firestorm, preemptively switch helms, ring, firebolt, ring, oops, shouldn't have done ring, ring, firebolt, ring, ice shards, ring, firebolt, oops, lag, sorry, either lag or mistaps, but I get in a little bit of a back and forth here, I don't swap the ring until I've thrown bolt. Ah, again. Um, there we go. Swap helms. This is actually cooled all the way down. I'm doing this poorly because I'm used to doing it with cooldown for ice shards as well. I apologize. Alright, so we're going to throw ice shard. Uh, we're going to throw bolt. And then we're going to throw shards. Oop, should have swapped the helm. Okay, well, this is poorly done, but you get the concept, I think, um, which is that there should be a pattern, and I don't have it memorized yet. I have a different pattern memorized. I'll show you with the new pattern at some point. All right, so I want to throw a uh, bolt first there, even though the others cooled down, because the others have two-second cast times, although I believe Ice Shards might actually have a one-second cast time, and I'm just wrong on that. Uh, and then... That was actually a miscast. I should have cast... Uh, bolt, and you'll notice I don't always swap my ring for uh, storm. That's partially because I don't actually need it. Uh, it's I believe it's maxed without the ring. It's just because I'm too lazy to uh, alt. Sorry for those of you who expected a fantastic demonstration. Clearly you don't know me very well just yet. Basically, the only thing I have going for me is this ridiculous accent that everyone seems to love. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to put on that uh, Necro Ice Shards brace because I think it will be worth it to see what happens when I'm using what I'm used to using. There is a pattern to the uh, to the casting without it. I just don't have that quite yet. Alright, so swap. I really didn't have to do that. I could have thrown... Oopsie, miscast. Uh, and I'm going to have to swap rings back. Bolt. Swap. Shards. Swap. Swap. Bolt. Okay. And you'll see that I'm actually much better at this with the setup I'm used to. Still not great but much better than I was in the last demo because shards is at a predictable timing for me. And all that is, is that um, 
as you cast things more and more, you're going to get used to, and eventually you'll have to come over here and recast stuff. A lot of this will happen all at the same time, and I actually do normally take the time to do it all at once. You're not going to get kills over the top mages in your server. Taking my advice, take the advice of someone who is 220 plus if you want kills in your server. However, they won't tell you in nearly as melodious a voice as mine, although I am getting over being sick, so that may not be true. Anyway, um, there's a little bit of a look at how I run things. I have one hot swap for um, for my attunement and my energy shield. The main reason for that is that's all the gear I have really left to hot swap for it at the moment. I have a helmet for each of Ice Shards and Fire Storm, and I have just the ring for Fire Bolt. Now, bear in mind that um, things that I have one hot swap for they're across from each other, so I've now clicked the ring for Fire Tune. Now I click Fire Tune. Then I click the ring for um, Energy Shield. Then I click Energy Shield. They're next to each other. Now on the other page, you'll see that I have that same setup for Firebolt. Why is it on the other side, you ask? Yeah, because that's where I put it, really. It's not super necessary. It depends what works best for you. Now, <clears throat> you're going to see I have a helm and then a ring for ice shards, cast ice shards, and then a separate helm, a separate ring, and firestorm, and those are arranged in a vertical uh, setup. If I were to hot swap three different things for um, for shards, say, because I, I do have a despoiler wand. Now, bear in mind that the despoiler wand is not the kind of thing that um, I want to be throwing in right now, because I'm in a fire build. If I was in an ice build, I would totally want the despoiler wand. But what I would end up doing is actually something different, where I move a skill to the next page or some other such thing, so that I can have all gear um, so I can go straight from top to bottom and throw the skill at the bottom. Uh, that's at least what I would be trying. Anyway, I, I don't know that that actually helps, but I, I hope it helps some. Uh, let's try this with no, with no ice shards band again. Uh, I know that was a sad demonstration, but let's, let's try it again just because. Now, all we want to do is get used to how often do we cast ice shards when it's not being cooled down. And this is just a test for my sake. So I'm avoiding the hot swaps because I want to time it. Okay. So then, Bolt and Storm end up cooling down at the same time. By the way, <laughs> you have to calculate in the cast time of bolt and shards, or sorry, of storm and shards into deciding whether or not to cast bolt. There would have been better to cast bolt first, probably. And, you know, if you miss by a bit, uh, oh well. If you miss every time, you're really missing out, because you're going to miss half of your bolts if your bolt has cooldown. There you go. That was the proper way to do that. Okay, there. So we, we have a feel for that. Now that we have a feel for it, let's let energy regenerate. I don't have nearly enough sigils. I have almost 2,000, but really I'd like... I'd, I'd like to have 12,000. Uh, 15, somewhere in there. But I, I mean, I would be okay with 5. 10 would be great. And anything over 10 is really getting on ideal for me. Uh... I mean, I guess ideal would be more like 22, 23k, since that's kind of what an end game mage would have. You'll notice I didn't have any uh, regen gear. Oops, sorry. All right, so let's try this again. No cooldown gear, now that I've done a little testing. Also, do this testing. Do it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to prioritize ice shards there. I'm not sure that it's the right thing to do, but going to do it anyway. 
and now I'm going to cast I I'm going to cast Firestorm or sorry Firebolt. Then I'm going to wait for Firestorm. Nope, I'm wrong. I'm going to wait for Ice Shards. But you'll notice at least I catch it this time. Hey, sorry. Uh, apparently I'm not clicking my target. That's that's the wrong way to be. Don't don't do that. I hope clan chat isn't doing anything too crazy because I'm not watching it in all honesty. Okay, I yes. I don't want to do a ring swap, but I did want to do that helm swap. Ah, come on, click, click. Okay. Really, I should have prioritized Bolt there since I missed that perfect timing on shards. Anyway, I hope this actually helps there. I missed my Bolt swap, but it may not be as bad to uh, miss hot swapping for Bolt as it is to delay casting Bolt uh, mathematically from a DPS perspective. Um, you know, that... That's something you'll have to get used to for your own build. Just keep an eye on how much damage each of your skills do and have a general idea of how long it takes them to cool down. Should make it fairly easy to find DPS. Oh, come on. Let's go. Okay, I'm out of energy. Anyway, uh, that's that's a general idea of how I, how I do things. Also, you'll notice I'm auto-attacking. That's because I keep unselecting this opponent for some reason. Try to keep an eye on if you're uh, continuously auto-attacking and stop yourself on anything that has a damage shield or anything like that. So watch for icons that look like repost or look like um, defensive spikes or like cloak of fire is a common one. Or watch for the times when you're taking damage in between your opponent's autos and skills. That probably means you're auto attacking them, which is just generally not a good idea. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. I hope it helped. So, uh, yeah, have a wonderful day, folks. I'll uh, see you next time.